At the media event a little bit earlier this week, we got a preview of MacPaws Hyder 2, and now we're in the booth with Philip Struchkov. Struchkov? Struchkov, yeah. I gave it my best shot. I told you I might not get it right, but I would try. So tell us about MacPaw and Hyder uh, 2. So MacPaw, we are a Ukrainian software development company. We develop Mac application for already six years. Our main product called Clean My Mac 2, we released it last year in the Mac world. Uh, then we also have Gemini, the duplicate finder, the application which lets you find and remove duplicates from your Mac. And here's our third application called Hyder 2. It lets you hide and creep files and folder on your Mac, so no one will be able to find them or access them on your Mac. So it's completely secure. So this is for the example of you're coming across, I don't know, the Canadian border. I think they like to open up your Mac and look at stuff. You would, they just simply wouldn't realize those files are there? Yeah, sure. You won't be able to find it in Finder, Spotlight, or even Terminal. Okay, so is it using any of the built-in tools of OS X that you can do? I mean, I think you can do this sort of thing through the terminal, right? Uh, yeah, you can do, but it's still through terminal. These files will be able to find them. Okay, all right. So uh, we're going to do a little demo here, and we'll uh, uh, hopefully be able to describe it for the listening audience as well. Okay, sure. So uh, the app itself is password protected. In order to uh, unlock the app, you need to enter your password. It's got a really cool combo lock, fake uh, uh, combo lock on it that looks really cool. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so once you unlock the app, you get the list of files and folders which you have hidden with the hider. In order to uh, add another file, you can simply drag the file under the application window, and then uh, file uh, will be uh, the file will disappear from its original location and will be moved to our secure vault. Uh, so you won't be able to find this file through Spotlight. If I, for example, go to Spotlight, uh, type in the file name, and we won't see the file which I just hidden. Uh, it also works the same way with uh, folders. So you can just drag the folder and it will disappear from its original location. If you need to unhide the f uh, file or folder, you simply uh, click the button to unhide it and the files are back at, at their original locations. So do they actually physically move location? Yeah, they do actually physically uh, change the location because we are copying our fi uh, these files into the, our internal library and encrypting them with AES-256 encryptions. Okay, cool. So it looks like you can show some is visible. He's, he's toggled some switches and uh, some are hidden and uh, you can also choose to hide all when you're done? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is also a global shortcut so you can hide all files with just hidden three buttons or you can log the app with the same combination. Very good. Well, I've got a copy of, uh, of Hyder 2, and uh, I hope to give this one a good test. How much does Hyder 2 cost? Uh, it will cost $19.99. It will be available on the Mac App Store starting from 2nd of April, next Wednesday. Uh, but we are introducing 50% launch discount for the first week, so you can hurry up and buy it for less than 10 bucks. I hope we get this interview out before then. Well, thank you very much, Philip. And the company, again, is MacPaw, and the product is Hyder 2, the number two. Thank you, Allison.